everyone and welcome back to my channel jrc restoration decor and designs and my name is phyllis and if this is your first time visiting my channel i want to thank you for stopping by and if you like what you see please consider subscribing to my channel this is a video clip of the upstairs landing of my home and the reason why i'm showing this to you is because i am going to be covering this wall that behind those two doors is my washer and dryer i'm going to be covering this wall with the wallpaper you just saw on the adjacent wall. I have this uh, peel and stick wallpaper or contact paper um, in different areas of my home that features accent walls. The reason why I'm gonna share with you why I'm covering or how I'm covering this is because of the challenges that you can come up against hanging contact paper with um, different designs or different patterns. Here I'm showing you, this is um, the company that creates this paper. I order it all the time, it's from Wall Pops, but I order it from Amazon and I just love this pattern. Again, I have it on different walls in my home, but it's just accent walls. I'm not doing every wall in one room. Um, here I'm showing you the barcode if you're interested um, in purchasing this. I'm gonna also show you the um, that it is adjustable removable and um, where you can take it off and put it back on which you will be seeing me do here and um, again here it is it's um, reusable and um, adjustable what I mean reusable you can take it off and then just put it back on the wall so what um and then also the amount on it is the three feet and five inches by eight feet. My wall, my ceiling, up to my ceiling is eight feet. So it's a little more than that because when I drop it down, I have extra. So here, um, are the first two clips, I'm gonna have it, on, you know, speeding it up. I'm going to explain it to you in my third clip, I believe, because this, I'm going to be laying it three times. This section of the wall, then in the middle, and then over by the door. When I get next to the door, that's when I'm gonna to explain to you how difficult it is to match up this pattern. The more and more I use this um, pill and stick contact paper, this design, the better I get at matching up the designs. Um, what I noticed when I put it here on the edge of the wall, when I just let it drop, you would think gravity is your friend when hanging this because of the weight, it is not. What it wants to do, even when I stick it on the wall it seems like the paper wants to slide to an angle so here you'll see me looking around the side because the paper tends to want to just wrap around the wall around to the corner to the adjacent wall so i'm having to pull it pull it off and pull it to keep it lined up with the edge of the wall and then i'll be showing that to you as well um, with my phone when i go around to the edge of the wall see like what i'm doing here i'm looking because the paper the weight of it, I guess, I don't, I don't know what's causing it, but I'm saying gravity because that's the only thing I can think of. It's trying to wrap around the corner. So what I'm having to do is pull it up and then pull it down to straighten it out to make sure that it stays aligned with the corner. And I think I just let it go just a smidgen, if that's even a word. I think I'm gonna end up saying that again to the, in this video. But it just goes off just a little bit off the edge. Um, and I didn't, score it with my um, exacto knife. I just left it as is because I just didn't want to take any chances and it's really not noticeable. So I'll let you watch as I do this row and as I do the second row. But in the third row is when I'm going to come back and explain to you what I had to do to match up the pattern. Okay, here the first row is completed and I used the little um, 
thing that looks like a dustpan, but the uh, thing that you use to kind of smooth out the air bubbles and my exacto knife to cut. Now here, right here on the corner, is what I'm saying, you'll see, I'll put my finger on it, you'll see where just a little bit comes off of the corner of the wall, but it's not too noticeable. So I didn't even bother it. I didn't even take the exacto knife to score it. I just left it as is. What I decide I'm gonna do is come back later and just use a blow dryer to adhere it so it can just conform to the corner because I'm probably gonna just end up more likely just painting that side of the wall. And here it is, I'm doing the second row. Now, if you notice up at the top how just one row of the pattern is up on the ceiling, what I noticed when I hang the third row, I'm gonna to have to go up two rows. So I couldn't hang it to match right at the edge like I did the first one because then the pattern goes off. What, what it is is that the um, the gray colors that meet, it um, alternates gray, silver, gray, silver. And you have to match that up by pulling the paper up. I couldn't pull it down because again, I had to let it meet right at the top of the ceiling and I had to keep pulling it up and going down. So I wanted to share with everyone um, what you can come, <laughs> the conflict or that you come up against when hanging wallpaper with patterns. That's why they tell you to order more than you need. So if I know this wall needs um, two rolls, it's better to order three because you're going to um, have to match the patterns up by almost wasting some of the paper. But me as a DIYer, more than likely I'm going to use that extra paper on a decor piece or something. But for instance, okay, this is a brand new roll. I've already did um, this here. From here to here, that's, two, that's one whole roll. Not one whole roll, but I got a little bit left. But then this is a brand new roll. I haven't cut off, I just started. So if you see here, I started matching the pattern. Well, I let it drop. And when I get down here, the pattern starts going off. And I'm climbing down this ladder to show you. So I have to almost go up. Oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter. So here it is hanging. Well, when I put it together, look how the pattern starts going off. It's hanging straight, but it starts buckling. And that's where it would buckle if I told if I took the backing off. But here the pattern starts going off and I'm pulling it straight. See where that's supposed to meet? Well, to make this match all the way up, I have to um, like say to, to get this dark gray, because it's a dark gray and a light gray. To get this match, I gotta go down a whole uh, row to match this gray up here for it to match all the way down. And I'm sorry, I'm trying not to do this. Okay, let me just put you on the stand where I can do this with two hands. Hold on. Okay. This matches here, but the circles, the pattern will match, but then the circle is off. So what I have to do is find another dark one and bring it up to match and make sure the circles are matching. And it, well, it's straight all the way down, but I have to cut off so much paper to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut off the paper. That's why I bought two rolls. I'm gonna cut off the paper, but then I'm gonna show you how much had to be cut off in order from the circles to match from bottom to top. I just did um, make this match here. 
it um let me see it almost went off a little here see how it's just a smidgen up under that so over here again these will match the lines but then the circles where the circles where it meets to form a circle it goes off so I'm going to um, match it up by pulling it up and then I'll show you how much of the excess of paper I had to cut off okay here it is all completed again I used one whole roll and started on the second roll which made this third row um, and I matched up the patterns of the silver and gray and here I'm pointing out where I matched it up and again I had to pull up and I'll show, be showing you the piece of paper but the second row I had to use just one row going across to pull it up to match and then this third row I had to pull up two rows to match the gray and the silver so I was wondering if this this was a whole wall would I have to keep pulling up the more and more I'm using this paper the better and better that I'm getting at it but this is why when you use pattern you almost have to get double of what you think you need because again I don't I remember saying this in another video I don't do the adding because I just don't know how so I just guess and you'll see up there this is all that I have left to do the top and the sides so this is how much I had to go up so it's not too bad it's just I had to skip two rows because if you look at it you got the light and then you got the dark that is light dark so I actually had to go to the next row that had the dark and it's not too bad it wasn't too much that I had to cut off and like I said this here I can create a DIY believe it or not on a box or something make a gift box or a um, storage box and put a cute little diamond knob on it um, but this costs too much money to be thrown away I think it's 30 five dollars a roll so we're going to get this finished and i'll be back now here it is all completed this is the corner part now if you look real closely you and um, you don't have to look at that that close but you can see it's not matching and i was not paying attention when i put this in the corner of the wall if i did i probably would have had to pull it up to the third or fourth row to get the grays and the silvers to match but I left it as is. And coming up, I'm gonna show you I had to just caulk a little area because the paper didn't go all the way to the corner or all the way right here. Um, I'm showing I'm using this here and it's just this little section here. And I put that there and it made it visible right here. I was able to hide the paint color of the wall. But all in all, I liked the way this came out. And I hope you all um, got some kind of inspiration or understood better of what you need to do to match up patterns. You do have to order more than what you need. And even when you're ordering it, it does say that in the description box. I don't know how to do the measuring. I've tried and I, I just guesstimate and I do it myself. So again, I bought two rolls and I used just about both of the rolls on this one wall and again i love the way it came out and i'm using this throughout my home only on accent walls in different rooms of my home so i want to thank you all for stopping by and again if this is your first time visiting my channel i would ask that you please consider subscribing if you like what you see also give it a thumbs up and i would like to hear your comments about how you would apply wallpaper and if you would even bother applying wallpaper and again this is peel and stick wallpaper and it is removable so if I decide I just don't want it up anymore I can just take it down. I want to thank you all for stopping by.